Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to review and unbox this remote shutter um, for iPhone and Android. I'm going to be using an iPhone and um, so my purpose is to be able to um, control my um, iPhone 12 or any iPhone uh, using this remote control so when I'm doing videos I would like just to have this nearby like on my wrist for example and uh, I'm hoping that I can just click on this button right here to record or start recording and then click it again to, to stop recording so this is the cheapest product that I found on Amazon I believe this is five dollars and sixty cents or something like that um, using Prime landed so it costs very little basically and uh, if it does what it does is 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 pretty amazing so it comes with batteries already as you can see it's already um blinking so first thing we're going to do is uh, try to uh, pair this all right so let's let's see if we can pair this real quick all right go to bluetooth there you go and um okay it shows up right here right away as ab shutter three so let's click on that it's connected all right so just curious if I'm not even on the camera app see if I can actually turn it on nope it actually <laughs> the ringer shows up which is weird okay so let's go back to the uh, uh, the, the camera app and see what happened so I'm on the camera app um, so if you usually to start videoing you you, you will click that button there Oh, look at that. And it works. So, all right, look, one more time. So let me show you. Start recording. Stop recording. That's simple. Um, so I guess that works. So let me try it on photo. Hold still. And it took a photo. Um, so yeah, I guess that works. So um, let, me, let me try one more thing. So let's say I turn this off because not using it anymore. How do I go back here? Video. Okay. So I decided to use it. I'm on the camera app. I turn it on and I didn't pair the Bluetooth again. So I'm just going to click this. Oh, it works. How about that? wow all right um pretty amazing so let me go back to the um, uh, to the settings and uh, see if i can um go to bluetooth and get it disconnected okay so if i turn it off I'm, I'm trying to make it fail. Turn it back on. It's immediately connected. That's the magic there. So as long as it's paired and it's within distance, it's going to immediately connect. So let's see how long it takes for it to connect. One, two, three for I think about three to four seconds for it to connect so once it's connected you can immediately just launch the um, uh, camera app and um, turn it on turn it off it's as simple as that so this works really well and um, it comes with um, um, uh, okay so uh, before I put that on, let me turn it off real quick and show you the battery. Okay, so it's using a CR2032 battery. That's pretty simple. That should last a long time. And it comes with a wrist strap. So let's just put it on real quick. See how that feels. Yeah, 
that works pretty well. So yeah, well, so when, when I'm videoing, um, I can just click. Whoops, I didn't turn it on. Here we go. Click and click. And uh, since the light would turn on, actually, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to tell. Yeah. Hmm. I guess that's gonna be the hard part there. So if I have the camera not facing me, that's gonna be easy to tell because I can tell it's red. But if I don't have it facing me, it's gonna be really hard to tell. So this uh, remote shutter um, <clears throat> comes with just one sheet of paper as the manual and one side is all in Chinese and the other side is in English. Um, let me see if there's anything worth mentioning. So obviously it's compatible with Android and iOS which is iPhone. Uh, it uses Bluetooth version 3, 2.4 gigahertz. Distance for communication is 30 feet. It used CR2032 lithium battery, which is very common. And uh, that's it. So it comes with this in this uh, very small box. Like I said, I bought this from Amazon. I'm gonna put the link in the description um, for $5 and 60 something cents. I think it's very well worth the price. Um, there are products that is up to $20 and I don't see any reason uh, of buying something that's $20 well this works perfectly fine so um, yeah so I'm glad that I picked this one the cheapest one it had great review um, so if you like to buy a remote shutter or remote control for your camera for your iPhone or Android please uh, use my link in the uh, description and uh, I'm gonna also put it as a first comment that I'm gonna pin um, yeah thank you for watching I hope you find this video useful if you do please give it a thumbs up and have a good day thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you